Hey y'all, what is up? It's Kimberly here. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kimberly, like I just said, and I'm an American. I make videos about Germany, so if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would help me out a lot and I would be very grateful for it. I'm really nervous and apprehensive about today's video because it's a topic that I generally don't like to talk about, especially in public, which is why I got the confidence and strength to make this video because I think it's a very important topic and I think the problem is, is that Americans aren't talking about it enough. So in today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about sex. Um, if you're my mom and dad or grandma or whoever, if you're near and dear to me and you find this video to be weird, I just don't watch this video. Mom, dad, just don't watch this video. Um, which I'm actually gonna talk about that whole entire mentality throughout this video. So I know a lot of YouTubers have made videos regarding this topic, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about it too because I think it's a topic that should be readdressed and revisited many times because this is a huge problem in the US um, and I think this is a topic that Americans could really learn about from Germans. So just for a little bit of background, I was raised here in the South and I think that it could be the worst here in the South. So sex growing up was always a very taboo thing. I had never really heard about it. I knew it existed, I knew it was a thing, I knew that was how I came into existence. But hearing about like actual sex or hearing about what you're supposed to do or how to have safe sex. I never grew up learning that or hearing about that. My parents never, ever, ever touched that topic. They never talked about it with me. Um, even if like that kind of general topic came up, it was always like a quick change. So I never really heard about sex growing up. Never, it was such a taboo thing. So it kind of almost seemed like this really bad thing. For all that I knew growing up was that basically if you have sex, then there's a large chance that you will get pregnant. Um, there's a scene in Mean Girls where it talks about how like if you have sex then you get pregnant and then you die. I think that is honestly the very American mentality. Um, so I didn't really know much about sex at all. So throughout high school, I really didn't know much about sex or how it even worked or what to expect or anything like that. I just knew that you should stay abstinent and that was that. And guys, I genuinely thought if I have sex, then I will have a baby because that's kind of what I was told. And to be honest, my parents, I know that they had my sister before they were married, um, a few months after they had met. So I was like horrified by sex and I just didn't really know what to think about the whole topic. I was so uncomfortable with all of it. I definitely grew up in a very censored household, just like the stereotypical American household where if there's a sex scene on TV, you either shut it off fast forward or your parents cover your eyes. I definitely was raised in a household like that and even to this day if there's a sex scene on TV or something like that my parents don't want me to see it or they will fast forward um, through it or they'll just look at each other like oh my gosh this is horrible. Um, so I definitely was raised in a household like that and I think that's very common and normal for a lot of Americans. We just feel very uncomfortable by sex but yet at the same time everything is sexualized. It's insane. Anyways back to the topic. So after I graduated from high school, I went to college and again, I was never taught sex ed, not even in college. I still knew absolutely nothing, zero about sex, had no clue how it works, um, what is supposed to happen, how to be safe or anything like that. So, which is horrible. Like here I am, a 20 year old in college and all I knew was 
be abstinent that's the best way and that is the only way that will ensure that you don't have stds or get pregnant um so i in, in college i was heavily invested in a church which was awesome but of course they went the route of like stay abstinent and i think that there's a lot of problematic things with this mentality in the u.s especially in the south because reality is is people aren't gonna stay abstinent until marriage and a lot of people don't even hold those beliefs isn't it better to be safe than sorry i just don't get the whole stigma around losing your virginity around sex in the u.s it's really scary for me and i think that's why we have such a large amount of teens that get pregnant because they don't have the proper education they don't know how to do it safely um and that's why we have such a large problem here it's this taboo thing it's this thing that has become so shameful here but on the other hand i don't understand why it's so shameful because everything here is sexualized food commercials i mean we have freaking kim kardashian and she's such a sexualized figure so i don't understand why sex is a big deal here but sexualizing things isn't so again i just lived my whole entire college career without really understanding anything about sex, never had sex education or anything like that. Then I come to Germany and this whole entire world of sex just kind of dropped itself in front of me and I was very surprised about just the way Germans talked about sex, viewed sex, and I learned that very early on during my time in Germany. It really just hit me like a ton of bricks. I remember I went on this one Tinder date and I was with this guy and he was just casually talking about sex with me. Not having sex with me, but just talking about sex in general. And he was a very nice person. He wasn't creepy at all. He was like a normal guy that I would go on a date with. And it was a great date, but I remember when he brought up the topic, I was just like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I really can't talk about this. I remember just feeling like there's no way I'm going to talk about this with you at all. This is so crazy, so strange, so weird. And I had multiple encounters like that with just normal German people that would bring up sex. And I remember thinking, this is strange how... They're not even shy or bashful to talk about it. It's such a normalized thing here. And I remember thinking, I remember at first being very judgmental about it, but then I realized that things just operate differently. And I think it's for the better because sex doesn't have the stigma. It doesn't have this shameful thing about it. So people can openly talk about it. And sex education is a thing in Germany men and women are given proper sex education and given tools on how to have sex and not get STDs or have kids. Um, in the US, it's this really shy, taboo thing. It's almost like you have to act like nobody's having it or nobody's doing it or else you are a slut or you are just a... If you're a woman, you're a slut. If you're a guy, you're just like, great. So it's this really horrible mentality here. So I had a few encounters just like that one. And I remember I went to Poland. So this isn't necessarily Germany, but I went to Poland um, for a month and I lived in Gdansk. If any of y'all remember that, that was a super long time ago. And I remember I did this one photo shoot with this guy. Uh, he was an older man, he was a father, and he was a Christian, and I'm a Christian too. And I remember him talking about how he actually got his daughter out of private school because he didn't like how they told her that you can't have sex before marriage and being abstinent is the best way to do it. And I thought, wow, that's so strange because that's just the normal mentality that we have here in America. And for him, he was like, I got my daughter out because I just think that putting that 
rule or putting that thing that is like hey you have to be perfect or you have to do it this way is realistic it's not realistic and I that hit me hard I was like wow like this man that's a Christian man just like me he got his daughter out because of sex like because they wouldn't teach his daughter proper sex education and at that point in time I think my mentality really started shifting I noticed how in Germany sex was just absolutely normal um, you would see sexual images in public or images of breasts and it wasn't taboo I remember you know going to Raper Bond for the first time and seeing prostitutes on the street and walking with Max and walking past these prostitutes I remember I was just like oh my gosh I I can't believe my eyes I can't believe what I'm seeing and I like Max was just walking past these women just casually like it was normal I was just like what because it's just something I wasn't used to so it was definitely an interesting experience to have that type of culture in front of me where sex is more normalized and I think it's way healthier because if sex is normalized if it is a normal thing that happens between men and women there's less chance to abuse it and I think in the US sex is definitely something that is abused and not done properly and women aren't taught about how to say no or how to like stand up for themselves and I think it's really dangerous because in Germany I think that German women overall are a lot more sexually empowered than here in the US. It's kind of more of a thing that you give to the men and you put under their control. Not saying it's always like that, but that's just what I've noticed versus in Germany, women feel empowered to say yes and men feel empowered to ask. Versus in Germany, versus here in the US, men often have way too much power in my opinion. Even making this video, I told a friend that I was gonna make a video about this topic and he was like, mm, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it. And I'm just like, this is the problem. Like nobody wants to hear about sex, but everybody wants to have it. In my personal opinion, if you're not willing to have the open conversation of sex and talk about it like it's a normal part of human life, then you should not be having it. And I think that's a hard pill for a lot of Americans to swallow, but I think it's the truth. If you feel so uncomfortable by the topic of sex, you really should not be having it. You should educate yourself a bit more, normalize it a bit more before you put somebody in that destructive position where they feel like this is a taboo and shameful thing that they're doing. I feel that same exact way with being a meat eater, for example. If you are eating meat and you're uncomfortable by the fact that animals are getting slaughtered, then you don't need to be eating meat. I think that a lot of meat eaters, and I am a meat eater, y'all have watched my videos, y'all know I love meat, but if you're not willing to watch a cow or chicken go through the suffering and accept that you eat that, then you should be a vegan because people need to know what they're doing the direct results of their actions etc etc sorry for that long tangent but that's just how I feel and this might be going a little bit too far but I'm just gonna say it this is a knowledge that I've obtained since living in Germany in America this is what I've been told and that is in Germany men are not circumcised versus in America the men are circumcised and apparently that is because this is what I've heard, I'm not entirely sure, but men are circumcised in America because it's a hygienic thing versus men are not circumcised in Germany just because that's the natural thing and they're just taught about how to basically wash down there. I don't know if this is true. If y'all know more about that, feel free to comment that down below. Again, I'm not really knowledgeable on that, but I also wanted to throw that out there. And I think that is very reflective of both cultures is that, you know, in, in Germany, I think body the way bodies are, are just kind of accepted for the way they are in america i feel that we have that tendency to be a bit more artificial when it comes to bodies that's why you see kim kardashian as our number one sex symbol is she natural at all no but that's another video for another day because i could go on and on and on about how ashamed i am that kim kardashian is an american icon oh 
one more thing that I wanted to mention is that I never ever had seen sex stores like I know they definitely exist in the US and it might have something to do with I feel like I see a lot less here in the US than I do see in Germany because in Germany I'm walking around everywhere or taking public transportation usually in the US when I get in my car it's to go to a specific destination and I'm not necessarily looking around me but I've noticed that sex stores in Germany you can see through it like they have clear windows so you can see the toys and everything inside of it versus in the US um, it's usually this mysterious thing and it's usually blacked out and looks really sketchy and freaky and it honestly creeps me out like I would never ever walk into one here I feel like they're gonna take me away or kidnap me or something like that so that's definitely a huge difference between the US and Germany it could just be where I live in the US um, if you're American and you're watching this let me know but all of the sex stores I've seen it's definitely been from a distance but they seem to be more blacked out all right guys i'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this video it was an interesting video to make and i didn't take any notes i just kind of went with the flow of what was happening in my brain if y'all like this video please let me know in the comments down below and maybe i'll hit some more controversial videos uh thanks again for watching please remember to give this video a like and please consider subscribing to my channel down below the red button. I love you guys. See y'all next time. Ciao. Tschüss. Bis dann.